The rapid urbanization of Cagayan de Oro City comes with a myriad of environmental problems. Foremost is air pollution. With an annual average daily traffic of approximately 30,000 in the major thoroughfare of Cagayan de Oro City, it is no wonder that people are getting sick with the poor air quality. In fact, a World Bank study shows that each Filipino spends about 2,000 pesos per year on health expenses caused by air pollution. This has led us to think that if only people regularly bike, there would be less pollution in the city. Cycling is an excellent alternative and sustainable form of transportation. On top of that, it is a good form of exercise. The cycling community in the city has grown as evidenced by all the cycling events and the myriad of bike groups that we have seen on our roads throughout the years. The growing number of cycling shops also proves that more people are indeed getting on a bike. However, these are seemingly not enough to get even more people off their cars. Many people put off getting on a bike and resort to riding in the comfort of their cars because they do not like to breathe the polluted air outside. But try googling air quality in cars and you will soon find out that the air quality inside your car is in truth far much worse than the air outside. If that did not push you to get on your bike, let us show you the fun and exciting world of cycling in the eyes of attack. A cycling group that has been in the city for a number of years. Ang among grupo nag-start sa Tuig 1999. Kanis siya nag-start sa barkada lang, grupo-grupo ah. Napaka-ingganya rin ako yung mag-bike. Una, it's a cross-training between mountain climbing. So maayon niya siya nga exercise for cardio. So I I went I went into mountain biking because una ang sa environment sa nature no The most exciting view for me are the breathtaking views So dili na siya chada ang view breathtaking pud sa kay hangak man labaw na ko uphill and then ang mga ako pod kay ang downhill moments mo na pinaka the best karon pa naog na kay murag reward kay siya sa mga uphill and not only ang um, biking is for koan men, but also for us young women. So yeah, again, I encourage kina mo nga pili mo kailingaw kay siya. And this one, it's cardio, cardio exercise. So dili na tamakon sa tong ano ng edad. Uh, we, our age is catching up with us, so it's we're not getting younger. So we have to go get an exercise. So that's that's the two reasons why I go uh, cycling. I was able to get a guerrilla, so it made me ano, realize that uh, biking is a guerrilla. I was able to get a So until now, thankful for the mountain biking. I was able to get a guerrilla. I was able to get personal uh, health at the same time. While the city of Cagayan de Oro is far from being bike friendly, it is organizations like Attacked that serve as instruments of change by urging the city to implement Administrative Order Number 254, which encourages people to walk, bike, and other forms of more sustainable transport modes to reduce the country's carbon footprint. Because cycling relies on pedal power, it doesn't only save you a buck. It keeps you healthy too. So, are you in harmony?